everyone, this is Mewichu and I've made a speed paint of a piece I called A Blossoming Crush. It features Alphano Levier from the game Final Fantasy XIV and my Warrior of Light character. I usually just start off with the base sketch and clean up all of the lines that I have drawn. I don't bother redrawing all of the line art anymore because it just takes too long and I can never get it to look good as the original sketch. So I just clean up the existing sketch and just use that as the line art. As you can tell, I keep plenty of references with me because it's always good to use references of the character that you're drawing, even if it's your own character, because you could end up missing details, drawing some incorrectly, and so it's always good to keep one or two references in hand. Most of my sketches were actually drawn in pen originally, in my sketchbook, and so when I scan them in and play around with the brightness and contrast, all the lines come out very clean anyway, but if you're sketching with pencil first, then it might not come out as bright as this, but it is possible to use pencil sketches as line art. Because of the fact I never really drew the bottom halves of their bodies, I've just added a circle here. Now I'm just adding the base colour of all the components, including the hair and the clothes. With the general bucket tool, it usually misses out a lot of the lines in between, and as I'm colouring, the space and background colour shows up, and so I end up lowering the opacity of the line art and just filling in all those empty gaps. This way, it just ensures a cleaner line art and cleaner colouring as well. So originally I was just going to shade this um, using my regular colour palette which is just lowering the opacity, but since I knew the overall background would be a red hue and because the characters are blushing I thought a red tint to the shading would actually be a lot better. Her hair is a gradient slash ombre. I usually shade the majority hair colour first and then I duplicate those layers and then clip it onto the ombre portion. I always keep them in separate layers just in case something goes wrong as I'm shading. 
it just ensures a much cleaner shading. With wider portions, I always end up doing a small blurred shading underneath, just so it's just not harsh shading and harsh lines of colour. Usually with smaller pieces, I don't do this gradient, but on larger pieces, it's a lot more noticeable, so I just have a smooth transition. I wasn't really focusing on any sort of light source for any of this project, so that's probably why everything looks a bit strange. I've started to add some gradients and tones and filters to the colouring, just to make it a bit more varied. So I always colour my line art. Usually what I would do is I'd clip a bright neon colour onto the line art, just so I know what needs painting and what doesn't. I don't usually paint the black line art, considering my line art originally was black. And so I just leave it as is and then I can hide the neon colour when I'm finished. I always work in layers because sometimes you've painted an area and then you need to paint another area but you end up making mistakes. During this process I can always go back and fill in some missing details that I've accidentally left out or something. The background's really simple, I just recently got a scatter brush and so I just painted whatever hearts in. And then this is the sketch and this is the final product. Thanks for watching!